hello guys welcome to my channel you know it's your girl linda i'm here again and i have someone special with me here yes um she is um she runs a profitable lucrative online um sleepwear business pajamas nightwear you know um loungewear and um she's here with me so i came to visit her so i decided to make this video for those of you that are interested in going into sleepwear business in going into loungewear pajamas business so um lady b i think you should introduce yourself her name is lady b okay international yeah lady b international <laughs> so hi guys mm -hmm. um Thank you for having me on your channel. Yes. My name is BBN. I run the On This Place and More. Mm -hmm. We are an online store where we sell sleepwears of all kinds for adults, for kids, for um, everyone. And we also sell loungewears, like what I'm putting on. Yeah. Yeah. So we also sell street uh, casuals, you know, and the rest of them. Just everything that you need to be comfortable in. That is what we stand for. All yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. So um so right now we are going to go into the video and um, we are going to talk about she actually is going to talk about um, ways you can start this um, laundry pajamas business yes so um I think that's it. Okay, so, so guys um. Things, there are things to consider before starting uh, a lucrative sleepwear business. Not just sleepwear, but I think business in general. But I'm talking sleepwear because that's what I sell, alright? Uh, the first thing you need to know about is that you need some capital to start up. Yes. So the first thing is the, is the capital. Uh, for the most part, a lot of people do not have capital to start up their own business, which is fine. Uh, you could get capital from your family, your friends, your spouses, you know, your acquaintances, people that are willing to help if they can. But um, if that is not coming through, uh, there's something we call drop shipping now. You don't yes. even need capital you can start with really no capital. to start. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, when it comes to drop shipping, essentially what it means is this: you don't have the item with you. You don't even uh, uh, own any of it but you know someone that sells this item so what you do is you advertise to your online customers mm -hmm. to offline customers anyone you want to advertise to and get them to buy the product your supplier sends it down to you mm -hmm. or your supplier sends it down to your customers mm -hmm. so that is it about drop off uh, drop shipping so that's that about your capital the second thing I'd like to talk about too is uh, you need to consider or you need to decide uh, who you want to sell to, your marketing yeah. audience. Mm -hmm. You can decide to sell luxury items, you can yeah. also decide to sell affordable items, you can equally decide to sell low priced items, okay? And um, making this decision would be, like help you in your business, you know, it will help you to source for suppliers, you know, you get to know the supply, sources for suppliers is like the top thing on my list. You need to, after making uh, sure you know the audience you want to sell to, you need to start sourcing for the suppliers that can give you that particular um, item. You want to like, sell luxury items. Like speak, excuse me, like speaking of suppliers, do you need like one supplier or like lots No, of you them? can have as many suppliers as you want to. You can yeah. have so many. In fact, I think the, the, the fun in all this is having so many suppliers. With this, it gives you like... Uh, the opportunity to have varieties of what you're selling okay um, sticking to one supplier isn't it has its cones it has its pros but it has its pros sorry but you have to have so many suppliers I speak from experience all right yeah. then that's that about the uh, knowing what you want to sell knowing and your marketing supplier. audience and then your suppliers mm -hmm. then the, 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 the fourth thing on my personal list I'm saying all this from my experience yeah so the fourth thing on my personal list is getting your sales avenue or knowing your sales avenue how do you want to sell this to your target audience now uh, you have luxury items that you want to sell and you don't have 
the audience to sell to or you don't even you don't even uh, have a means of selling to this audience i mean that's doesn't make sense doesn't make sense mm -hmm. so now social media has made everything so easy for all of us uh, you can advertise on your WhatsApp, you can advertise on your Facebook, you can advertise on your Instagram, TikTok, TikTok Twitter. Yeah. I mean, sales go on in this place I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking about. Sales go on. So, another thing on my list is this. You have to be, um, you have to flow with the trend. That's just another secret. When you set up a business, you have to know what sells at every point. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. For example, uh, there are times that really bright colors are in trend. Sometimes character uh, sleepwears or loungewears or whatever are in trend. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, let's talk about the seasons, rainy season, dry season, hamatan, yeah. summer and winter for those in the abroad. Uh, exactly. We missed out <laughs> autumn. <laughs> So, uh, you have to just know what to stock at each time. That's, that's a, a, a secret to following the every trend. business. Yes. yes, following the trend, knowing what time and season we are in, uh, stocking up on those uh, on, the, on the outfits or clothing that is best for uh, that season or that time. Oh. Yes. So that is it. Okay. I hope I'm not missing out on anything. Um, I think these um, are the basic things that you yeah. need to know when starting Just, up your own laundry uh, sleepwear business. So the recap is this: uh, you have to talk about your capital. You have to uh, talk about knowing what you want to sell and what type of audience you need to sell to. You have to talk about getting suppliers that will give you that. Uh, those things you need to satisfy your target audience you need to talk about your sales channel your sales avenue how can you sell these products you need to talk about flowing with the trend this is how to make a business profitable lucrative mm -hmm. this is basically so it the key is starting small and you know, growing. growing yeah that's what makes sense yes so so that's it guys um um thank you for watching this video so um i'll be leaving her link her instagram link her whatsapp link in the description so just in case you want to buy or you have more questions further questions you want to make inquiries yes so you can chat her up or send her a mail or you know you can also follow her on send instagram yes send a dm to her on instagram she's on instagram as well so um thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate it. bye, bye.